Hey Virgo, welcome back, welcome back. Hope you guys had a great weekend. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below this video. Just click that link and that will take you to my booking site. Okay, Virgo, so we're going to take a look at the week ahead, October 7th through the 13th. I'm sorry, October 14th through the 20th for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, my cards are all backwards. Hold on a sec. All right, let's see what you have. All right, so you're starting with clock, Virgo. Time's a wasting, time's a ticking. Healthy choices, making healthy choices in your life and you've got the dragonfly. Beautiful. Virgo, it seems to me like you're in flight. You're making some changes in your life going forward this week and you're making really good healthy choices in love and in life. You're all about self-care, self-love, being happier or finding your happiness and I feel like you have to be patient. You're making progress or you will be making progress this week. And of course, you know, this could go for the following week and the week after that, but I feel like the message here is take it easy, Virgo. Be lighthearted about things. Don't overdo it. Um, you will find out that all the effort and work you're putting into something in your life is going to take flight. You're choosing anew for sure. And you're starting over. Let's take a look and see. It's going to take time to heal. Okay, so maybe you've come out of a very a, a, a toxic relationship with somebody and you're healing from that. Um, yeah, you're going to progress though, Virgo. I feel like that's the biggest message. Yep, look, you've got the desk card. There might have been a connection with a Scorpio, but there's definitely a change, an ending transformation. And you're just turning into this big, beautiful Empress energy here new beginning here. This is what this is about. So you've got a new start. You're birthing something new. Some of you, um, maybe you left a relationship, you're still healing, where there was a pregnancy involved. I feel like, like it's the death of something. Something's over. And this Empress gives me, it's giving vibes here of really loving yourself taking care of your, your, the Empress is Venus. It's all about beauty. It's all about love. It's all about transcending, transforming yourself even after something has ended, putting um, an end to previous ways of living or thinking. It's a very great way to start this week. And I feel like, yep, you're putting in the effort. So what I want to say here is Spirit's telling you just a little bit each day. Okay, just a little bit each day. You don't have to overdo it. Just put in a little effort. Just put in effort every day, however much effort you want to be. Minimum or maximum, okay? Whatever you're capable of giving. But don't put in no effort. <laughs> just do a little bit each day to whatever you're working on towards here. And I feel like you will you will see the results. Some of you are just kind of getting into the swing of something. Okay. You're starting something new, okay? So you do have the star in the reverse, Virgo. So there is a little sense of like you might be feeling a little hopeless at the start of the week. Like maybe you're getting over an illness, you're trying to heal from an illness or something. Um, there's a feeling of being ignored and trying to, you know, you don't want to be ignored. You want to, you want attention to some degree or appreciation for whatever you're trying to do here. Um, so I feel like in the start of the week, how can I say this? Like the effort that you're putting in, in the beginning of the week, I don't feel like anybody's going to mention it or say, Hey, that thing you're doing, pretty awesome, because no one's gonna see yet. I feel like it's gonna come towards the end of the week. But I also feel like to tell you, don't, like the star is here, so that's a good sign, but don't let yourself get, you know, um, down too depressed. Like keep the hope, 
Okay, try to keep the hope as best as you can. Have the faith that whatever you're working on here, you're going to see results. It's just impossible not to. Every little bit you put in, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. So if you have an expectation that if you start something and tomorrow you're going to be like, unless you go viral, <laughs> whatever it is, if you start something and expect tomorrow, it's all going to, you're just going to go from point A to Z or one to a hundred in, in within a day. It's not going to happen. It's this journey that you're on that you're going to have to like settle into. I f there's nothing going on here. Um, you know, now they're just saying, you maybe there's a new love relationship that you're in. Um, that you are, for some of you, you might be in something that you just kind of want to push it along. I'm hearing still the same message. A little bit each day. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Right? There you go. Some of you might be trying to push for commitment from someone. Um, you know, I, I don't feel like... <laughs> You have like two choices. Number one, I feel like you can't make anybody do anything. Um, so if you're not getting what you need, either you need to be more patient. But if you have been patient and the other person knows, then you got to make a decision if you want to stay or not. Somebody might just be there's there's whether it's another person or just in general in your life. I just saw the Knight of Pentacles. It's a, there's a slow walk in energy going on here slow walk there it is it's not there's no rush with the knight of pentacles like this is all about patience or i'm telling you taking the time taking your time not rushing into anything here okay is there anything going on anything else in regards to like maybe some relationship stuff what's going on because i kind of feel like this is in general in your life other areas of your life anything else going on for Virgo like in love all right well you have ascension so that's good I wonder if spirit wants to even talk about love preparing for union there you go so yeah there's an engagement ring okay that will be in your future definitely either you're gonna be giving one to someone or you're going to be receiving one but you do have, whether it's engagement, actual, like an actual ring, um, there's partnership, commitment, it's going to come. It's definitely in your future. Let's see if we can find out more about that for you, Virgo. Some of you are like, maybe you're already engaged and you're going to be married and you're trying to get yourself ready for your wedding. You could be doing that or preparing yourself for when you meet someone so that you feel and look your best, whatever these changes are that you're currently like, I feel like some of you in like boot camp, you're doing some kind of boot camp thing. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. King of swords. So there's an air sign in your future, Virgo. Okay. Now I didn't say anything about the past. If that's your past person, you're calling that, not me. If the past any past cards show up, I'll let you know. But there's definitely an air sign in your future. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And this is going to be your person. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay. Wow. Ooh, the tower. Let me get a clarifying card for that. What is going on with the tower? Oh, uh, 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 this is security. Okay. Oh, okay. So wait, no, now they're saying this person, um, they work in some kind of security, like any kind of job or they, or they come across, they're very secure, but I'm getting like, just, they just told me right now, like they work in security, the security field, like security. Um, it could be like, um, you know, like a security guard kind of thing or somewhere in that realm or um, some corporate or government security, securities and exchanges. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there. Let me see. What else do you need to know? Oh, wow. This person is being lined up for you. 
if you haven't met them yet, they're being lined up for you. I'm just going to tell you. You might have met them. Maybe you already know them. Um, and you two have come together already, okay? Like, in other words, you're already with this person. You're either with them or you haven't met them yet, okay? If you haven't met them yet, like, you two were meant to be coming together. I feel like when I look at this card, I feel like the angels, you know, they just kind of mixed it up. They, they, they mixed up the solution of love for you guys to come together. You know what I mean? Concocted some kind of love potion. This is very much like a divine timing kind of thing. Some of you might actually meet this person at the end of November, or there is going to be an engagement at the end of November going into uh, December. Let's see. Yeah, look, there's you, Virgo. You're not going to be single. Nope. Before the year's out, you are not going to be single. This person coming in. They're very witty and they're pleasurable to be around is what they're telling me. This is someone who is a lot of fun and they're very in uh, yeah, intelligent. They're very clever, very strategic type of a person. All right. This feels very predictive, but um, even with that nine of pentacles in reverse, this is definitely an energy of no longer being uh, on your own. Now, of course, just because it's coming doesn't mean you have to accept it. Okay. But this is what I'm predicting. Somebody is coming forward before, before the year is up. Okay. Uh, to either propose or have conversation about getting into a committed relationship or moving the relationship forward if you're already with them or you're meeting this person and they, this is what they're looking for, okay? Now, if that's what you are looking for, good. It's great. If you're not and you're just looking for companionship or you're not focused on love or a relationship, and you're just focused on your money, um, you know, you could always tell this person no, but dating them probably isn't going to be good because I feel like this person wants something more than just casual dating, okay? So there are some of you here with the King of Pentacles who are just really focusing on your, you're not interested in a relationship. Yeah, look. You're, you're, you'd be pushing back on that. So there are some Virgos here like, nah, you don't want that. You're not interested. You're focusing on your business, your work, your career, all this, all this stuff that you like to do or that you're just building. Yeah, that's final decision for you here with the two of swords in the reverse. Okay. Um, Although some of you might actually consider it, I will say that you might feel a little bit like, I don't know. I feel like you go into this week for those particular Virgos who are like, no, nah, I don't want a relationship. I'm not looking for that. Although, the, you know, someone does come forward. And even though you're still kind of like, nah, <laughs> I do feel like you push back. But after you push back, you do, you're kind of like, hmm, well, Maybe, maybe I'll change my mind. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Little teeny, teeny, teeny little bit of confusion. Uh, let's see. What else do you need to know here, Virgo? Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. You have a lot of communication coming in from someone. A lot of messages, good news, Cupid's arrows as well coming towards you. Oh, wow. So you're going to get a message from somebody. You're going to hear from someone that they are changing their life and they want to tell you about this. They're making a big change. Yes. And they're coming in your direction and they're coming towards your direction. They also went through a huge <clears throat> windstorm. Um, I'm just hearing um, race car driver. Okay. And the emperor, wow. So somebody's sending a car. I'm also hearing somebody's sending a car to pick you up this week. 
And it's coming from an emperor, possibly an Aries. But somebody's sending you a car this week, okay? I don't know, this is good news. I don't know why it's good news. Could be a boss. Yeah, it's really good news. Or somebody's buying you a car or offering or you win one, okay? You could be possibly winning a car. This is exciting. I'm, I'm hearing some excitement. There is there is this emperor air energy, like an Aries. Um, wow. This must be someone that you had a connection with. They are, they're not grieving anymore. They're not sad anymore. And they want to be with you or they're coming towards you. They want to connect with you. This person has a thing for you. Also, there's a child who's, well, not a child, but um, someone older, like still before, like 18, maybe late teens getting their driver's license also this week. And they're going to be driving. Watch out because they drive really fast. That must be what the race car thing came from. Okay. Wow. Freedom, Virgo. Wow, freedom. Devil in reverse. Um, mm, mm, mm. I see a school, someone in school recovering from some kind of like addiction as well. Someone recovering from addiction, an addiction. There's freedom here. Um, Virgo, somebody stops communicating with you this week also, and it's a relief, they just said. It's a, it's bringing a relief. You don't hear from someone this week, and it brings you relief. Like, you're happy. You're happy not to hear from what I assume would be, like, a very toxic energy with the devil, someone who is very, very, very unhealthy. Yeah. And you can, I'm hearing you can, you can relax now. That's what I'm hearing this week. You can relax. You don't have to have these like hardcore boundaries. You don't have to like get into protective mode or be super, super persistent with somebody because they're disengaging or you are, whatever the case may be. Um, there's no communication and it's a, it's a relief is what I'm hearing. You don't have to be paranoid or defensive and you don't have to hide anymore. Somebody like you're going to get a break or a reprieve from a very toxic energy this week. You, 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 you don't have to look over your shoulder is what I'm hearing. Wow. All right. You've got now a queen of swords showing up here. Wants to talk to you. What? Just when I said the communication was over. Well, this might not be a toxic person reaching out to you, but there is. Oh, shit. Okay. That could be you. There's a ghosting and someone's very stressed about this. Somebody ghosted. Big time. Some kind of partnership or there's a fear of ghosting or someone like not committing or disappearing. There's some type of communication and somebody's bringing it up because they're very stressed about this. There's a lot of anxiety. There might be um, a friend. It could be a friend. It could be a lover or someone that you thought or, or they thought that you guys were, you know, in this energy together. It looks like that's not the case here. Um, so I, I feel like you might hear from somebody asking why you disappeared or you're asking them why they disappeared. There's a lot of anxiety attached to that. Also the King of Cups. Okay, so it could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces 
trying to reach out to you or seek clarity or truth about why either you disappeared or tell you why they did or ask you, you know, back and forth. Oh, because, yeah, they want like a new love start. Mm -hmm. Now, if this is, so if you're dealing with this person and this week you get a reprieve from hearing them, I feel like maybe by the end of the week you're going to hear from them. Okay. If you're not trying to communicate with anybody, I feel like you're happy there's no conversation. I feel like somebody's going to be reaching out to you. Try to get clarity on like what happened. Oh shit, you've got a king of wands too. What? Fire and water. There's a fire. Oh, somebody thinks that there's another person in a, in a situation. Somebody thinks that... Another person ended a relationship because somebody because of someone else. I don't know if that's a story or not, but I feel like either a king, either a fire sign or a water sign feels this way. Also, I feel like you're going to find out that there are two same. There's a same sex relationship happening this week, either with an ex. Uh, this feels unexpected. Uh, I'm just getting like, a, but also there's a same sex new love start this week happening. I don't feel like you're involved though. You might know of them, but I don't feel like you're involved here. These messages are so odd. Um, someone's coming also in with and trying to provide a new opportunity to break your heart and hurt you. Watch out for this. Okay. Okay. Somebody's coming. Yes. Be careful. And that's a weird message to get. I don't generally look at this, you know, these cards and see this. But I feel like the opportunity to, to hurt you. Someone, okay, they're not actually coming in. They're pondering if they should, if they should. Somebody's pondering whether or not they should take revenge on you. They're stopping to think about it first, so that's good. But... Or, if, you know, take revenge as far as, like, a third party or hurt you. But also, oh, okay, they just said um, somebody is going to pay someone to spy on you. That is so freaking creepy to see if you're with another person while they're thinking about it. Should they, should they try to find out if there's a third party? Like, you know, like an investigator. I mean, like, it's the whole nine yards. That's, like... Come on. That's creepy. Okay, yeah. Get the legal, like some kind of legal involvement. What's that about? A divorce? There might be that. If you're going through a divorce this week or you're going through a divorce, somebody's trying to trying to get some information on you to use in a in a divorce case. You could be doing that to another person also. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody still loves you, Virgo. Somebody still loves you by the pounds. <laughs> still loves you by the pounds. Some of you lost a lot of pounds. And now somebody's like, they want to remarry you or marry us? Not a reason. I'm like, what the hell? But anyway, yeah. <laughs> somebody's trying to find out, though. There's definitely a seeking energy of trying to find out if you're involved with someone else, if you're cheating, if you're still married, an infidelity kind of thing, part of a divorce situation, or just trying to find out in general if you have another person and why you are not like dating them or why you don't want to be with them. But there's another person who thinks that you left them because you found somebody else. Okay, and so, yeah, maybe that's true, Virgo. I don't know your full story. That could be true. But it could also be true that you left because you wanted to get some healing in and you wanted to spend time on your own. Okay, that could be true, too. They're not going to think that, though. They're going to think the way they think because that's probably what they do. Um, instead of taking their time out to just try to mend and heal... Or just give themselves some space to reorient themselves outside of the relationship. Instead of rushing into a new one, um, they won't do that. They're, they're, they jump into another relationship, so they're going to assume that's what you're doing. 
and that might be what you're doing I don't know and I'm not I'm not holding judgment I have my opinion but I definitely do not judge with that okay let's take a look and see Okay. Yeah, there you go. Patience again, Virgo. Patience is so important this week. Whatever you're endeavoring to accomplish, you're on your way to it. The progress, you'll see the progress. You just need to be patient. Just a few more months. Just, I'm hearing three months. Three more months. So by January, you're going to get what you want here. January, you're going to see it. Whatever this thing is, if you just keep at it a little bit each day, it builds up, I'm telling you. It's cumulative. It builds up. Okay, yeah, there's someone else in the middle. There's a third party situation going on here. Now, okay, let me rephrase that. Third party comes to mind. I don't know for sure if there's a third party, but there's definitely um, someone, either there is or someone assumes that there is someone else. And whoever's assuming that there's a third party, they believe that that third party is trying to sabotage. I always feel like, right, like, I don't always feel this, but I am feeling at the moment that if someone decides to cheat, you can't blame the third party, you know, unless, like, you just can't. No, there's no excuse. Everybody has agency. They make up their, they make their own decisions. You can't be mad at the person that they went to. It doesn't matter if they were weak and they got manipulated because they were weak. Like, wake the fuck up, Frank. What's your problem? You know what I mean? So it, it's you can't blame the third party. Even if that third party is moral and they intervened in a marriage something sacred it's still the person that you are with that made the decision to to do what they did and they are the only ones that you know you don't like if the third party comes to you and apologizes to you is that going to matter to you you know like is it because your part your your person's still gone you know you need that person who cheated to take accountability and you know either apologize or fix it or just you know take accountability and get the hell out you know one or the other but there is something going on here where there's blame being placed that's what i'm that's how i feel there's blame being placed on the third party okay again give stuff listen give it time everything comes out in the wash barrel like everything eventually comes out it been, nothing can be ever hidden for long it, it just cannot it's impossible it's impossible. You think of like, what's at the center of the earth, Virgo? Seriously, they, they believe that, oh, I don't know. There's like a big ball of lava, the core at the center of the earth. How do they know that? Eventually, they're going to find out, right? But most things, I mean, we can see sunspots on the sun. You know, the whole alien thing. <laughs> it's hidden, but it's not. You know, everything comes out in the wash. Give it time. You, I feel like you're going to find out a lot of stuff without having to put any effort or, I don't want to say that, hard, any extra effort in is what I mean. It's just going to come to you. It's all in divine timing. Things will just flow to you. Whatever you're meant to know, you will find out. Yeah, there's definitely a divorce. I feel like spirit just keeps saying the same thing. There's a divorce or a breakup. And again, someone thinks that it's because of a third party. One more. Um, yeah. Okay. Fire sign. So either they think it's a fire sign or it is a fire sign. Okay. I just feel like they keep repeating. All right. Children are important to a partnership in your life at this time. Children are like significantly on the table this week for you. Your children, so what else is children? Some of you need to detach with love to clearly see the truth. Uh, some of you may need to forgive someone. Forgive yourself or another. We'll help you move forward if you want. I'm not telling you what to do. Your intuition, do you already know the answer that you seek to a certain situation? 
Okay, you already have the answers. And you also have put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen a relationship. That could be a friendship. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. And fate. This is a destined partnership. Okay. This ties back into the engagement thing. There is definitely somebody who's going to be coming forward. And you are going to be in some kind. Let's see what their Chinese sign is. Either you're already with them and it's going to happen soon. Or um, there, it's somebody new coming in. Okay. Year of the dog. Now this could be you or your person. Year of the snake. Year of the rooster. Year of the horse. Year of the ox. Year of the dragon. Year of the tiger. And last but not least, year of the goat. Okay, Virgo. All right, connection with a Libra, a Leo, a Cancer, and a Capricorn. Okay. Someone's 55, 28, we have the initial P, 1980, 51, 48, nine, nine, nine. Nine inch nails? I don't know. Nine. Or Zion? Or Zion? Zion? Zenith? New Zealand? Okay, I'm also hearing Nina. Zane. Okay, someone's in OC. We have September 4th. Okay, December is going to be a very significant month. Someone's a district attorney. April this year. Um, I'm hearing harp. I'm hearing harp. Also, we have the initial H. April. So there's an Aries, very significant to you, showing up this week. We have 62, September 10th, 44, September 18, uh, GI. GI, not sure what that means. GI, like gastrointestinal doctor. <laughs> Seeing a GI this week. Um, 68, 21, September 21st. BS. Oh, yeah, they just said watch out for the BS. Someone tells someone or someone told someone it's a bunch of BS. September 11th, 32, 1982. 74, August 31st. Someone's getting their PhD or has it. Somebody might be a gastro doc. Okay. Um, is there anything else here? Oh, yeah. Did I say September 11th? Here you go. You might be saying 111 a lot or 444. Gina or Regina. Okay. Cody. It's the first time I got that. Uh, let's see. Caleb. I just saw J Jane, Janae, Jack, JC, Jan, Candace, Coda. Whoa. Coda. Okay. Or Dakota. Maybe you live in Dakota, or North Dakota, South Dakota, the Dakotas. S11. Okay, that's significant. S11. All right, let's see what your charms are, Virgo. Okay, so you do have, you have a bird. For some reason. <laughs> Something about a bird. This is um, a finch, I feel, or a sparrow. Something very significant. Virgo about a bird. Like a sparrow or a finch. I hope that that's coming in so you can see it. 
best I could do. This is about you, Virgo. I feel like the message here, again, is something to do with you taking flight. You're taking flight this, this week. You're starting something new. The same with the butterflies. Transformation and change is happening in your life. Big time, Virgo. You are really, like, you're blossoming this week. Or you're really going to start seeing the results at the end of the week. Which is why I felt like you needed to be super, super patient. You're in some kind of a cocoon right now. Okay, you also have a pink taffy. Oh, and they're just saying there's another hurricane that's going to be named. Um, what name? Hold on, let me see if I can channel a name. Uh, they're giving me the letter L, like Lara or Lorraine, something in the letter L. It's going to be huge. I don't know where. I mean, I don't know where it's going to land, but it's, you know, it's it's going to be the Atlantic. It's definitely starting in the Atlantic, but I don't know where it's going to land. Is it this week? Um, I, I don't feel like it's going to hit this week, but I it could, now they're also telling me the letter K. K or L? Cali? K-A-L-I? Okay. Unless they're telling me California. Is that what they're saying? I don't think hurricanes hit California, do they? Um, maybe like Baja. I don't think they go up that high. Whatever. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. Kitty? All right. So you also have a Hello Kitty. So maybe you have like a connection to Hello Kitty or something. I don't. Like I'm seeing Hello Kitty glasses <laughs> or sun sunglasses or little glasses. It's kind of cute. All right, Virgo. So I'm going to leave your reading there. Let's see. How long was that? That was like, I don't know, 30 minutes or whatever. All right, you guys. So, um, yeah, I'll leave that there. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Click that link. That will take you over to my um booking site and uh yeah i hope you guys have a fantastic night I'm and we'll see you back here you tomorrow go. lord knows that i've tried to you said i was the only one no one likes being like to you made this mess and left me with the pieces now i wanna burn all the bridges between us Ooh.